Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at the NECA Phantom of the Opera, Ultimate Phantom of the Opera color figure. Here's a quick look at the packaging. The figure comes in the display-friendly window packaging. So if you did want to display the figure just in the box, I think it would look nice also. The original Phantom of the Opera movie starred Lon Chaney. It was a 1925 silent movie. This figure is in 7-inch scale. Here's a quick look at some of the accessories. You can see all the five different heads there. Couple with the eyes looking from one side to the other. One open mouth, one closed mouth. And then there's the face with the mouth covering. And he comes with a hat. He also has his walking stick that's made to look like bamboo. There's a few different hands that come with the figure as well. One to hold the cane and a couple different open hands. He also has one in kind of a pointing position. The jacket has kind of a shiny fur look to it. It's removable. Here's a close-up look at the face. I really like all the different expressions on this figure. I think the best faces for display are the open mouth, or the kind of subtle closed mouth looking forward. There's a little bit of ab crunch and back bend, but not too much. The figure can be seated pretty well. He does have single joints on the elbows and knees. There's quite a bit of rotation on the head. That will help you tilt the head and get it into some kind of cool positions. The wrist can rotate, and you get a little rotation on the feet. NECA has made quite a few different of the classic Universal Monsters, so this one's a nice addition to that collection. They have made the color and the black and white versions of most of them. He's wearing a black full suit, and he has a black long bow tie. All the coloring looks good on this figure. There's quite a bit of nice paint detail in the mouth. It's got a bit of a glossy look to the mouth and teeth. Here's a quick look at him next to the NECA Dracula figure, just to get an idea for the height reference. These are still available now as of October 2024. I have seen them on sale at a few different stores. Overall, I think it's a really nice NECA figure, and I think it'll make a nice addition to any Universal Monsters collection. Well, that's it for this review. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. More videos like this to come soon. Thanks.